The term stiff and tender ship are used to describe a vessel's stability characteristics, primarily based on how quickly it returns to an upright position when healed. One important way to assess this stability is by examining the rolling period of the ship, which refers to the time it takes to complete one full oscillation, or roll, from one side, which is her initial position, going to the other side, and going back to its initial position. This is one complete oscillation. Rolling period serves as a key indicator of the ship's stability and its behavior in response to waves and external forces. A stiff ship refers to a ship that has a large metacentric height caused by a kg being too small, with a gm of 2 to 3 meters, but these values may vary depending on the ship's size, type, and design purpose. Here are several reasons why the kg is too small, resulting in a larger gm. Heavy cargoes are loaded in the lower hold, causing the ship's g to go down. Double bottom tanks are filled with ballast water, this is another reason for the ship's g to go down. The absence of cargo on the main deck. If there is existing cargo on the main deck, discharging it will cause the ship's g to go down. If the ship has a large metacentric height, at small angle of heel, she will have a larger riding lever, resulting to a larger riding moment, which will tend the ship to return more quickly to her initial position. When we say riding moment, it is the moment that represents the ability of the ship to return to its upright position when healed by external forces. This is the formula how to find the riding moment. Assuming there is no change in the ship's displacement, the riding lever is directly proportional to the riding moment. So the larger the riding lever, resulting in the larger riding moment. A stiff ship has the following characteristics. The roll period is less than 8 seconds. Returns to the upright position rapidly after being healed by external forces. Since the roll period is short, it often feels abrupt or jerky. High restoring moments result in a more significant strain on the ship structure and cargo. Can be uncomfortable for the crew and passengers due to quick, sharp rolling. On the other hand, tender ship refers to a ship with low initial stability due to a small metacentric height caused by a kg being too big. Those ships with a GM of 0.16 to 0.20 meter are considered small metacentric height, but these values may vary depending on the ship's size, type, and design purpose. Here are several reasons why the KG is too big, resulting in a smaller GM. Heavy cargo stowed too high. Placing dense or heavy cargo in the main deck or superstructures, or above the ship's G, raises the ship's center of gravity. Insufficient ballast water, or discharging of ballast water in the double bottom tanks, causes the ship's G to rise. Excessive ballast in the wing tanks or upper tanks, and free surface effect due to slack tanks, are other causes in the rise of the ship's G. If there are existing cargoes in the lower hold, discharging it can cause a rise in the ship's center of gravity. A ship with a small metacentric height will have a smaller riding lever when healed by external forces, resulting in a smaller riding moment. This reduced restoring force causes the ship to return slowly to its upright position. Consequently, the ship's rolling period is comparatively long, typically ranging from 25 to 35 seconds. A tender ship has the following characteristics. The rolling period may range from 25 to 35 seconds. Returns to the upright position slowly after being healed by external forces. The roll period is longer and feels sluggish or gentle. Lower restoring moments can make the ship more prone to healing excessively. Greater risk of capsizing in extreme conditions due to slower recovery. So which of the two ships' characteristics is better? 
A ship that is neither too stiff nor too tender is considered ideal. Proper ballasting, cargo stowage, and weight distribution ensure optimal stability for safe and efficient operations. Before addressing the issues of stiff ships and tender ships, it is essential to understand how the ship's center of gravity moves when weight is shifted, added, or discharged on board. If you are not familiar with this topic, I have made a separate video explaining it in detail. You can find the link in the description to watch the full explanation. To correct a stiff ship, we must raise the center of gravity to reduce the metacentric height. Shifting a weight or cargo from lower hold to main deck causes the ship's G to rise. Adding heavy weight or cargo to main deck will also cause the ship's G to rise. Filling the wing tank with ballast water will also cause the ship's G to rise. Discharging any weights or cargo from the lower hold is another reason for the ship's G to rise. And discharging ballast water from the double bottom tank causes the ship's G to rise. So, how do we address the issues of tender ships? The corrective actions for a tender ship are the opposite of those applied to a stiff ship. Lower the ship's center of gravity to increase her metacentric height. Shifting weights or cargo from main deck or upper deck to lower hold causes the ship's G to go down. Adding heavy weight or cargo to a lower hold will cause the ship's G to go down also. Filling of the ballast water into the double bottom tanks is another corrective action to lower the ship's G. Discharging weight or cargo from main deck causes the ship's G to go down. Discharging of ballast water from the wing tanks is another corrective action to lower the ship's G. Press up all double bottom tanks with ballast water. Press up means the process of completely filling a ballast tank until it is fully loaded with water, leaving no air pockets inside. This ensures that the tank is entirely full, eliminating the free surface effect. A bulk carrier ship which is loaded with highly dense cargo, such as iron ore, might have the characteristic of a stiff ship, since this heavy cargo can only load it in the lower hold, resulting in a low center of gravity. A container ship where the containers in the higher tier are still loaded with heavy weights, might have a characteristic of a tender ship. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you in my next video, thank you for watching, bye.